Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up and use BitLocker here in Windows. Please be aware this is only available for those of you using Windows Professional or Windows Enterprise. If you're on Windows Home or Windows Student, I will refer you to Veracrypt, which is a free solution you can use to encrypt your drives. I do have a video on how to use and set that up, and so I will post a link to that video down below in the video description. For the rest of you, BitLocker is a tool that you can use to encrypt your drives right here in Windows. And to get started, you will want to come down here to the Windows Start menu, type in Control Panel and open it. Make sure you have Category selected and then click on System and Security, and then come down here and click on BitLocker. Here it will list all of the drives that you have. And so right here we can see our system drive, our secondary drives, and a removable thumb drive. You can see that I already have it turned on for our system drive, but I'm going to use it here in just a moment to encrypt one of my secondary drives. And I'm going to go over these options here in just a moment. It will give you the option to either encrypt just the partition or the entire drive. And so my recommendation there is if you are using a brand new drive and you've just started using it and you haven't done anything on it yet, you can get away with just encrypting the partition. However, if this is a drive that you've been using for a while, you've reinstalled Windows before, you've wiped it a few times, you'll definitely want to encrypt the entire drive. If you're worried about it, the safest thing to do is always encrypt the entire drive. The downside or the con of that is that it takes longer to encrypt. So the drive I'm going to encrypt is this one right here. I'm going to click this little arrow and we're going to click on turn on BitLocker. And it's going to open up this menu that will give you three different options. You can go ahead and set up a password for this drive. You can use a smart card to unlock it, or you can just have it automatically unlock with this computer. And so I'm, for myself, I'm just going to use this option. You can select whichever option you feel most comfortable using and then click on next. Make sure you back up your recovery key. This is very, very important in case you ever need to recover your data. Regardless of which option you go with, just make sure that it's secure. Don't leave it out in the open. If you're going to do that, there's no point in even encrypting the drive. So again, just please make sure that whichever option you choose here that you keep it secure and safe. Once you have this backed up, just go ahead and click on next. And here it will give you the option to select just encrypting the space that is being used or the entire drive. Again, as I mentioned earlier, if it's a brand new drive, you could get away with doing the top option. But if it's a drive you've been using for a while or you just want maximum security, I do recommend selecting the bottom option, which is what I'm going to do. The downside is that it does take a bit longer. So please keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Now, if you are encrypting a fixed drive in your computer, just go ahead and select the top option. However, if it's a thumb drive, a drive that gets removed and plugged into other devices, you will want to select the bottom option. So again, the drive I'm selecting will not be going anywhere. So I'll just stick with the top one and click on next. And please be aware that this can take several hours depending on the size of your drive. So just make sure that you do this at a time where you can leave the computer on, make sure that it's not going to go to sleep or anything like that. And so once you're ready, you can go ahead and just click on start encrypting. Once it starts, you will get a menu like this and you'll just want to let it sit and continue until it's fully completed. And you can see over here, we have some options that we can go through. I'm going to come up here to the uh, system drive that I have. You'll notice here that there is a suspend option. And this is an option that you'll want to use whenever you are doing updates on the computer, especially BIOS or firmware updates, you'll definitely want to make sure that you suspend your protection while it does that update. Otherwise, you can run into problems. Also, if you're doing just Windows updates, it's often a good idea to suspend as well, especially if you're going to be updating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, I would definitely suspend the protection there or any major updates. Just get into the habit of suspending the protection so that you avoid any problems. Please note that suspending does not decrypt the drive. If you want to decrypt drives, you have to click on the turn off options. So please be aware of that. And then here on the secondary drives, basically these other options are just the options we went through just moments ago. And so if you ever want to make a change, if you ever need to back up your recovery key, add a password or a smart card, turn off auto lock, you can do all of that right here. And you can always see at a glance which drives are encrypted and which ones are not. So I'm just going to let this continue until it's completed. But that's basically everything as far as turning on and turning off and managing BitLocker as a whole. But if you do have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.